You sad? It's a lemon. So my wife is here with her atlas. Yes, she does have an atlas. And the reason why she's here over lunch is because the check engine light's on. Now the check engine light has come on three times so far for an EVAP code. And uh, we're gonna see if this is the fourth time. If it, if it is, we're gonna lemon law it. Hi, honey. Hi. What's going on? Hot out. It is. Oh, look at that. That's shining light. You love your atlas though, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, let's see. Fancy car here. Oh. Let's plug in and see if it is an EVAP code for the fourth time. Okay, so we are connected to the 2018 Atlas and the code being thrown. Now this is from one of my customers. Let's read this. It is an EVAP leak again. This is the fourth time that we've had this EVAP leak and have taken it in for service. Look at that. That face of disappointment. I don't know if she's thinking about me or the car. So it's been in the shop three times to fix this code. The last time they replaced a part that uh, uh, it went away for a while, but obviously when you buy a brand new 2018 Atlas, you really don't expect it to like have the same problem over and over and be fixed over and over just to come back. I mean, like it's got a long warranty on it. It's got a really nice bumper to bumper warranty on it and it's comfortable, fits the three kids all across and all that stuff. But the uh, problem with the Atlas here, or our Atlas, not all Atlases, is that we do have a, an EVAP issue and it can't pass inspection like that. You can't pass our emissions inspection and you know, when we're out of warranty, what do we do? You know what you should have done? What? Bought GM. After talking to Volkswagen Corporate, they want us to take the uh, uh, the Atlas into the dealership for uh, them to verify that it is the same issue um, for the fourth time, and uh, I guess we're going to go from there. We're on the way to Fred Bean's uh, Volkswagen, uh, who sold us a car and who has been servicing it the entire time. and. Uh, We'll see how painless or hard this procedure actually is. I've never lemon lawed a car, so I really don't know. Fred Beans. So now we're going to find out how hard it is to actually lemon law a car. So the Atlas is dropped off. We're picking up a Tiguan loaner car and we're going to see how long it takes to get things uh, squared away. Uh, what they need to do is they need to verify that the code is on, that they've exhausted everything to fix it, and then we're going to find out like what needs to happen. Now this is the fourth time that it's in, so it's pretty cut and dry from our point of view, but uh, we're gonna, they just need to verify it. And I think then Volkswagen will reach out and get the ball rolling on a replacement, which is what the wife wants. No match for the Escalade. I don't even know how she's trying. So guys, we dropped the car off at the dealership and they sent it back saying it was a gas cap. That's right. They're like, yes, this is a gas cap. Well, before we even got gas again, uh, the check engine light came back on. This is for the fifth time for EVAP. Uh, small leak detected. And uh, we didn't even fill up with gas, which is kind of ridiculous. Like, we, So either I don't know how to put a gas cap on, my wife doesn't, and the master techs, the master Volkswagen techs, don't know how to put a gas cap on this Volkswagen Atlas, or there's something else wrong that they still can't figure out. So uh, uh, I'm going to pull the code right now because I didn't even look at this code yet, but I want to see if this is, in fact, another EVAP code. Read. And what is it? It's the same damn code 
P0456. Very small leak detected. Again and again. Now these guys did drive the car for 200 miles and it did not appear but a couple days later it came back for us. So you may be asking, Andrew where do you go from here? Well we've contacted the Volkswagen corporate again with it being the fifth time. We haven't received instructions back but they were processing our paperwork to get the car lemon lawed anyway. Um, so hopefully Volkswagen is going to pull through here and make this right uh, not only being the fourth time that we were at the dealership but now that's the fifth time the check engine light has come on for the same thing and it is not the gas cap unless again the Volkswagen Master Tech myself and my wife all don't know how to put a gas cap on I don't think that's it so try five the, uh, um, the Atlas is at the dealership again uh, for the check engine light coming on for the EVAP system another time and uh, they finally understand that there is a leak in the EVAP system somewhere they don't know where Volkswagen is sending a special gas that apparently will leak out and like show them where the leak is so they can fix it but this is try five so German companies using a special gas Hi. okay Kristen that's her uh, tell us what's going on with the Volkswagen uh, uh, Lemon Law thing. So the check engine light came on, I guess, five times now. So Volkswagen approved me to buy back the car. So basically they said they were going to send the paperwork to me to get the process started. They would offer me an amount of money to buy the car back from me. And then if I wanted to purchase another Volkswagen, they would give me an additional Let's get away from it. Woo! We went, we went sideways. A lot of dealers don't want to part with the atlases they do have on their lots, so basically it'd probably be easier for me to just take the money and buy another atlas because I liked the atlas, so I want a new one. How did you enjoy the process? The process of lemon lawing it? Yeah. Well, Volkswagen was actually really good to work with. Volkswagen themselves, they were like, okay, what's the name of the dealership? And um, we'll get all the paperwork. So they kind of took care of the whole process and said they would just email me what they need from me. And then as soon as I send that back, they'll get the ball rolling. So, so far, they've given me dates that they would send me updates. They've gotten back to me in a timely manner, and they've been very responsive. So they've been really good to work with. Shout out to Rolanda, who helped get the ball Big hands. You know what they say about people with big hands? Big gloves. That's right. Yeah. Do they say anything else? I think that's it. Is there anything else that you want to add to it? No. I mean, we do have three children. Big hands. Did you want to announce the actual name to your Corvette? <laughs> Wait, what is it? I forget. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the red lemon. Yeah. Turn right after yeah. a quarter of a mile onto PA 901. So I guess my car is named the red lemon. And you came up with that. But ironically, your atlas was the real lemon. Ironically. But that's okay. They'll take care of me. Me dubs got my back. So what did they blame the, uh, uh, the check engine light on? Because they said that they fixed it now. Well, the most recent time it was that they thought there was an EVAP leak, but then there was no EVAP leak after they tested it with the special kind of gas. And then um, they said there was a kinked wire and they rewired like, it. Like a wire, like not like a hose? They said wire. Wire. Joey said wire. Why? A wire? I don't know. A kinked wire? So they said they rewired it, and then it was good now. I'm not sure I understand the kinked wire thing, unless it was a broken wire. But kinked, kinked wire, 
that that term does not like make sense to me why something would not be working but if anybody out there understands this terminology please let me know supposedly they fix this kink wire and and will it go out no no there are only a couple things that are constant in this universe and a Volkswagen check engine light seems to be one of them I'm actually glad that the check engine light came back on because a kink wire made no sense. Did it make any sense to you? A kink wire? I don't know anything about that stuff, so. No. Well, like an electrical wire, like if it's kinked, electricity still flows through it. Like if it's broken, it stops. But kinked makes no sense. That's like. That's just like pure stupidity. I mean, they must have just been reaching for something because. You know, and then they knew it was going lemon law anyway, so they were probably like, "Yeah, kink wire, we're we're done with it. Bill it out to warranty, and they're they're done." But I'm, are you happy that it came back on? Yeah, so now I can get a new one. Yeah, yeah. Now it makes like perfect sense that nobody can get to the bottom of this, including Sarah, who's playing with her baby. See, one of the really nice things about the Atlas, it is a nice car. Like it fits three across four if you count Sarah's baby and then the rear row is actually kind of spacious too it's not it's a it's a good family car it's slow though and we're here at the Volkswagen dealership as you see Chris is in the happiest mood ever well, because you bought me a piece of shit phone can you take this no not now oh, that's a nice color is that what a Tiguan that yeah that's an old Tiguan the red one Oh my gosh, be nice, you're on video. Like, at least try to be nice. Well, I made it on my phone, and I can't even Well, I didn't... I bought you a phone! I... As you know, guys, I like Android. And my wife's an avid Apple fangirl. And, uh... Yeah, I don't care for iPhones. But I bought her one anyway, and she hates it because it's having problems, just like her car. So here we go. Let's see what kind of process this is. Just signing a few papers. Let's just verify. Have been number ends in one one five one nine, right? Yep. Okay, cool. So in and out in like five minutes. Sign the papers. Done. That was actually really convenient. I I gotta say Volkswagen really s stepped up and made it a painless process. You know, we were through it. We ended up basically spending $500 to drive it for a year and put 15,000 miles on it, which is, uh, you know, more than anyone could ask for. So how do you feel? Well, I feel sad today because I have to give up my car. I realize my phone is a piece of garbage because the battery just crapped out. iPhone for everybody interested. Uh, there she is. So we turned in the Atlas. And now you are forced to drive this Corvette that I bought you ahead of time with great foresight. Just the best foresight. Like Donald Trump would say, it's terrific. Are you excited? Yeah. I said I would drive the Corvette. <laughs> you guys believe her? So what are you looking forward to about the Corvette? Having a car to drive to work. I hope you enjoyed this little video. How much power does a wife's turbo C5 Corvette make?